Hello and welcome to the final episode of this season in Youth Squad Legends Series 4. We are just about to finish the third season. Three games remain, unfortunately all in April, so when we bring up the youth kids in May, we won't be able to find out how good they are until next season. But nevertheless, there is a title to be had. And I'm pretty sure if we win these last three games, we will get that trophy. Monthly scouting updates. First from England. We have an 87. The 87 looks like the best bet. I believe we shall sign that 87 potential player. And now we've got Saudi Arabia. 87, 89. Got an 89 there. Mabruk Al Mosayem is the best one. From the Saudi Arabian scouting report. We shall sign him up. There is also an 87 here. So you know what. Let's just go. Let's just gamble on these players. So here's the story at the moment. We have played 43 games. Tramia Rovers are second. Played 42. They are only two points behind us. So if they win all their games. They are champions. If they lose any of their remaining games and we win all three, we become champions. Hold on to your hats. This is the end of the season. York City against Oxford United for the first time in two occasions this episode. I've got to apologise for the length of last episode and probably this one. I'm battling a migraine as we speak. And it's fucking torture, but... This is the start of the migraine, and it's likely to get worse tomorrow, so I might as well get this episode out of the way. Chambers here. Blast it at the key point. It's gone out for a corner. So when this video is uploaded, which will be Friday at probably, I'll make the time about 11am, I won't be available to reply to any of your comments because I'll be at college. But rest assured, I will reply to your comments on Friday night. Come on, the marking's good so far. And Chambers nearly got the ball. Oxford still have it. Still retaining it. And still, what is going on? Get the ball from Oxford. I'm stressing. I don't want to lose a bloody game. Ooh. Ooh. Chambers. No. you got to put that in the onion bag. Oh. Half time, nil nil. Fernando da Silva. Oh, shimmy. Oh. If he fell down there, we would have got a free kick. My players are too honest. Catarino. There we go. Come on, Chavez. He's tired. He's past the defender marking him. It's a good save by the Oxford United keeper. It's to Chavez. The acrobatic attempt is wide. Does feel like Chavez has actually gone back into his slump. And that is a terrible thing to be saying. Especially, it's the end of the season. We need all our strikers to be scoring. It does feel like something's wrong with Chavez. Well, Chavez is heading off the pitch. And I really can't say anything else than thank God he's heading off the pitch. Fenton needs to do something now. He needs to show why he should be first choice. Here's Craig Clay. Fenton. Oh, his attack has brought Ampuri. Ampuri has put it into the back of the net. 70 minutes has been played. It was getting quite nervous around the stadium. But Puri, one of the players of the season, has got a very important goal here. Is Coulson. What a nice pass to Fenton. The shot wasn't too bad either. It's a good save. And that is it. The final whistle. York City 1. Oxford United 0. In a fortnight we do it all over again. This time at Oxford's home ground. But here, this game, York City are celebrating. Edging ever closer to a League 2 title. Tramia have kept up the pressure. They now have three games remaining. If they win all three, 
they will become champions. When we played Yeovil last time, they were cruising at the top of the table. We managed to get a draw that game, and we concluded it was a very good draw for York. But now we are in the driving seat in the league. Yeovil Town are in the playoffs. We need to show why we are higher up in the table this game. We need to win them. Piori with the corner. Logan was there. Didn't even... Oh! It's deflected! That was in! That he's gone in! Yes! <laughs> what a slice of luck! When we needed it! Yes! Oh man, that's, that's awesome. This will give us a better inkling on what happened. I think it deflected off number four's back. And it completely bewildered the keeper. Azevedo. To Chavez. 25 yards out, straight at the keeper. Oh, what a take. Ronald Chavez. Cross it in then. Yes. Oh. Credit Chavez there. What a piece of play. What a first touch. To bring it down. Pluck it from the air. And then deliver it like that. Azevedo scores. It's 2-0 to York City. Now look at Chavez run. Chavez. Stretch your leg out. Oh man, everybody watching this video is hoping for a Chavez goal. Just to get him out of this rut, we've seen what he's capable of. I mean, we've seen a bit today when he's assisted Azevedo for that second goal. But he's a striker, he should be scoring goals himself. Chavez, come on. So close to the end now. Full time. There was nothing really happening in that second half. We wanted Chavez to score, but it didn't happen. York City 2, Yeovil Town 0. I don't know what the hell has happened to Yeovil, but they're definitely not the same team that we played earlier on in the season. Tranmere have succeeded. They have won their game in hand, along with the others this episode. They've played 45 with 90 points. They have leapfrogged us with one game remaining. We need them to drop points whilst winning Oxford United away from home. This is the one, the final game of this season. Oxford United against York City. Is it going to be an exciting end to the season? Look who's back. It's Invisible Pants Smith. Yes! Woo! I missed you, man! Puri running on. Now, we need runners. We need runners. Corto's the only willing runner. Gone for volley! Oh my god, I thought I was in. I thought I was in. The way the keeper was stretching for it. This can't be far away. Let's have a look how close it was. Takes it down with his right foot. Hits it with his trusty left. That is a good effort. Fenton. Uh, delicious Fenton pass. Chavez tries the chip. He's being pushed. How is that not a penalty? And look at the pushing happening there. Ruffles for Oxford. Ah, he tried the sweaty on me. I just feel being denied. Go on, Corto. That's nice. Get running. There's an injury. Why do you stop play when we've got the fucking ball? Stupid. <laughs> Invisible tracky bottoms. <laughs> Corto. Oh, just a little tap to Fenton. He is going to reach it. He's crossed it in. And Puria scored. We are in the deep depths of the first half. The whistle should have gone. <laughs> Invisible tracky bottoms always gets in the shot. So it's half time at 1 0 to York. We still haven't had news on the Tranmere game. So I presume it's still 0 0 there. Tranmere, Tranmere. 
Where are you? Nil nil. Newport County nil. Tranmere Rovers nil. Fenton. Chavez. Run Chavez. Ooh. Oh. Puri. Oh. Come on. Oh. Get in. Chavez to score. The fuck. How. How the fuck did he miss that? Oh my god. Old Chavez is back. Chavez. Oh, that's a late challenge. We can't be having that on a football field referee. He's lucky to get away with only a bucket. Smith. Oh, Chavez is onside. I'm going all the way with him. Fake shot. Chavez! He's missed again. Now, to be honest, that was a good save. Fenton will run for the ball. And it's gone for full time. That is the season over and done with. And what were the odds of us finishing this season with our favourite result, the 1-0 win? York City are on their way to League One. And up next in this episode is May the 1st, the upgrades to the Youth Academy. Congratulations to Tramia Rovers. They got a goal against Newport County. And that is the final table for this season. Tranmere Rovers win it with 93 points. York City gets second place with 92 points. It was a close run thing. We lost out in the end. But the most important point is that we got promoted. We got £20,188 from tournament prize money in League 2. This is the moment in this youth squad monthly report there will be youth squad legends so let's go through this andre bastos overall 53 to 57 potential of 73 to 79 faiz al bishi overall of 41 to 51 potential of 63 to 79 james roast overall of 42 to 54 potential of 61 to 79 he's gone down so much Khalid Al Shamri overall of 52 to 64 potential of 69 to 85 that's more like it Kwame Cresswell overall of 59 to 63 potential of 73 to 89 Lorenzo Rios overall of 59 to 63 potential of 76 to 82 Liam Wooten overall of 50 to 54 potential of 70 to 74 Mabruk Al Musayem overall of 40 to 52 potential of 61 to 79. Michael Nichols overall of 52 to 56 potential of 69 to 73. Mohamed Al Raheb overall of 47 to 57 potential of 66 to 80. Nicholas Ayala, the centre mid god, overall of 62 to 66 potential of 83 to 89. Pedro Bastos, overall of 54 to 58, potential of 69 to 73. Rui Sarau, overall of 52 to 56, potential of 74 to 80. Sam Gale, overall of 55 to 67, potential of 70 to 86. And finally, Vincenzo Blasi, overall of 54 to 58, potential of 71 to 75. It's a decent little list from them players. We could potentially bring up one, two, Ayala can be brought up and Blasi can be brought up. Then add Bastos to it, five players can be brought up. So let's get offering these guys contracts. Kwame Cresswell, they're all going to be on the minimum. Five years, 500 quid. Lorenzo Rios, Nicholas Ayala, even the god cannot escape 500 pounds per week. Pedro Bastos. Oh, he's got a speciality. Vincenzo Blasi. I've got a scouting report from England. We have Nathan Lang here. Overall of 51 to 63. Potential of 68 to 86. I saw this guy last month. He didn't look too good. Now that it's May, he looks quite decent. So decent that I'm going to sign the player up. We have the final scouting report from Saudi Arabia and we've got someone at a potential of 94 which is always a sign. Rios, Ayala, Blasi, Bastos and Cresswell are all now first teamers of York City.
We have Blasi at 56. He can play left mid and centre mid. Got five star weak foot and three star skill moves. We have Nicholas Ayala here. He is a 64 centre mid who can play centre mid, centre attacking mid, centre defensive mid and left mid. Both high attacking work rate and defensive work rate. Weak foot a four star, skill moves a four star. Lorenzo Rios is a 60 overall centre mid. Can play centre mid and centre attacking mid. Two star weak foot, three star skill moves. Pedro Bastos becomes the first player in this team with a speciality. He is the tactician. And that may be because his mental attributes are off the fucking chart. For a 57 overall, the mental attributes are pretty insane. However, it's not all good news for Pedro Bastos. Even though he's mentally aware, he's not skillfully able to do his job. Standing tackle at 38 with slide tackle at 44. Then finally we have Kwame Cresswell, overall of 61. He's a left winger. Also can play right winger, high attacking work rate, low defensive, weak foot of 2, skill moves of 2. We'll just bring up this late comer into the team, Nathan Lang. Same as everybody else, 5 years, 500 quid. We'll have a check on his overalls. Nathan Lang is a 53 overall central defensive midfielder. Can also play centre mid. Medium attacking work rate, high defensive, weak foot of 2 star, skill moves of 2 star. Very disappointing compared to the potential of the player when I saw him in the youth academy. Rui Sarawi is seriously wanting to cancel his contract now. I say do it because we have brought up a new goalkeeper, Abdullah Al Sairi, and he's already better than Rui Sarau. No matter how many times you message me, I am not going to give you a contract. I've got three people who've terminated the contract and have only been told that one player wants out of the club. Oh, wow. How stupid is this game? It can't tell me when my players are getting fed up of the youth team. So this is it, the end of the season. Cameron Logan has packed his bags and gone back to Swansea. We've done exactly what the board have told us to do. So they've said it's a super season for the club. We also say goodbye to Craig Clay, whose contract ran out at the end of this season. And it's on to the next season. But this is where I cut you off. It is the end of this episode. This has been Cutsy. If you've enjoyed the episode, give it a like. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.